Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from SciGame in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be taking a look at Millennium Blades, the complete all-in. So this includes collusion, all of the mini expansions, set rotation, and playmats. Everything you could get for the Millennium Blade system. Now that being said, the Collusion expansion does come with two gigantic boxes that you will need to store everything. So keep that in mind when storing. This copy is also completely sleeved. But without further ado, let's jump into it. So first off, let's go ahead and start with this blue box. This is one of the giant expansion boxes. And right off the bat, you're going to see that we have all of the rule books here. So we have our score pads on the top with a couple laminated just in case. We've got our complete game rules here. Some stickers in case you want to customize it even further. A duelist guide. This one is for character descriptions and backgrounds and kind of features all of the different sets and what they're about. Very cool. And those two rule books are going to have all of the other rules for every other expansion in the core game all in one. So you don't actually need to keep any of the other rule books. You can just use those two. In here, we have some updated player boards. So we've got the tournament side as well as the, sorry, the collection side and then the tournament side here. So there are six of these. And then we have the insert for the collusion expansion, just a small little rules leaflet, as well as the boards for the market. These are the cardboard versions. So you have the store area as well as the aftermarket and metagame area here. So all that rests nicely on top. You've got enough room. There's no lid lift here. And underneath, you'll see that we have separated everything based on these columns here. I guess when you're looking at it this way, it's rows. But first off, we, the game does itself come with these large containers here, and they do fit nicely into the wells, like so. And these wells have this gigantic container. It's got a little area on the bottom. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside of each of these. So we're going to put them all on the far left, when you lift off the top, you've got this nice clear container. You've got lots of these Millennium bills. So these are Millennium dollars. So you've got fives, tens, ones. You're gonna put all those on the left. And underneath, you'll see that we have the additional cell tokens based on the character you are. So if you're this character, you get extras, as well as the fives and tens. So these are not used as often, so that's why they're in there, just because you're not going to be using them as often as everything else. I think I put that one back. They all fit nicely. And then up here, we have just a bunch of ones. So lots of Millennium Dollars. These are really nice. You do have to assemble these beforehand, but you've got a nice area to put them. So that's all the Millennium Dollars. And then underneath here, we've got the more frequently used victory point markers, the plus one and plus three for winning tournaments. So those all can go on the bottom. Cover that up with those Millennium Dollars. And then in this last section, you have the rest of the Millennium Dollars. You have a lot. And then you have your bags that are contain your cell markers. So each character will pick a color they want to be, and that will come with your trackers for your points for the tournament, as well as your cell markers for the buy and trade phase. So put these in nice little bags just so that you can toss them to a player and they're ready to go so you're not sifting through things. And there's a lot of room to accommodate these. You just pull out what you need. So if you're setting up a game, I would recommend that you leave these ones in. You probably don't need them and then just take out this large chunk of ones and then some fives if you need to. So that's the three containers and they've got these nice plastic trays that just go on top. And now let's go to the large amount of cards. So these cards, I'm gonna go ahead and tilt it this way so you can see what they are. On the left side here, we're gonna put all of the character cards. So you have the character and that's gonna come with their cooperative tournament cards, their promo packs, all sorts of things. So that'll be all on that left side. So all of these in alphabetical order, so it's easy to find them and easy to put them away. And then at the very end here, you're gonna have all of your NPCs. So these are the non-player characters you can interact with. So lots of them, and remember these are all sleeved. In addition, you'll notice that the game comes with these uh, deck boxes. These are for the starter decks. So some of the starter decks do not have these dividers for them, and you're just going to put them inside of the starter deck that matches the color. So this is the purple starter deck because it has the majority of the purple monsters here. So you can put that in there, and then if you do play with the starter deck variant and not the sealed play, you can just toss that to the player, and it's cool, it's neat. I like that it has this little variant. We might, on the top here, in Sharpie, write down what the deck is named, and I think that would be fun. So that's all there, and you'll see those here. This is also important that you kind of spread them out because these containers, they have a little area here that goes in 
so it's easy for cards to slide under. So you wanna make sure that you have one of these larger starter deck boxes here when you're putting them next to these uh, containers. That way your cards don't accidentally slide under and then it becomes a hassle later. In this middle column, we have our three additional deck boxes. We've got an extra set of sleeves just in case anything breaks along the way. So these sleeves are standard size. I'll put a link to them in the description. These come with the Millennium Blades uh, Collector's Edition, but you can definitely order some off of Amazon. I'll, once again, I'll link some in the description below. Up next, we have all of your starter cards. So these are additional starter decks that you can use. Super nice. Oh boy, let's put those back in. And this main box here is for kind of the stuff you're gonna be using to start the game. That's how I've organized it. So in this one, you're gonna have your store cards. These are going to be your set rotation, sorry, your metagames. And these are gonna give some bonuses based on your characters, as well as the boss promo packs if you are playing, not promo packs, the boss cards if you're deciding to play the cooperative variant. So these are specific to that where you'll have a group of people trying to take them out. So yeah, I like having this here because that's kind of the character you're fighting, right? So you have your characters you are, the characters you're fighting, uh, the characters, the cards you start with, and then you have your core set cards on the right here. And then we go into promos. So this is the smallest set and it fits really nicely here. These are the gold star promos and you'll see where everything else is. There's also a large chunk in here that is categorized as miscellaneous. So this contains basically everything that doesn't have a divider. I'll go ahead and pull these out and show you. So it's gonna have all of the attributes, the different uh, team tournament powers. You've got the events, the mystery cards, the create your own Millennium Blades cards and additional cards that will be pulled off of specific um, effects. You also have the ML, MBL pocket cards, so a tiny little mini game that you get from the set rotation expansion. So all that fits really nicely in that miscellaneous section. But other than that, these are all the cards that you'll generally need to start a game that are, you know, like the characters and whatnot. So that's this main box here. So let's go ahead and put it back. Make sure all the cards are organized as we saw earlier. Your money is back in the containers. We're gonna put those large stores as well as the character boards for your tournament and your store phases. The duelist guide and the rule books. And then on the right side here, the score pads. There we go. And that is our first box for storing Millennium Blades Collusion. Woo wee Let's go take a look at the second box. Luckily, the second box is a lot easier to take a look into because it is just cards and cards and cards. Not a lot of components. So right off the bat, on the top, you'll notice that we have the lore book. It does fit nicely, and you can, uh, or you want to sort it this way. That way it actually fits in here. But it does fit nicely, and it's going to just have the world of Millennium Blades. So once again, when you get rid of the rule books, you're going to lose a lot of the lore from the rule books, but that's all been compiled here with wonderful blown up artwork of all the different characters, all their backstories. It's just a lot of fun. I like this goofy world they've made up here. Hilarious. So I love this. So that's all of the lore in that book. And then you'll notice on this bottom section, we just have a big hunk of mats. So in this game, you have some nice upgraded components. So you can use this for the NPC area. And then these just kind of roll out. So this is going to be a mat version of the metagame and aftermarket area, and then a mat version of the store area. So you could definitely use these if you want. I definitely will be. Um, you could, if you really want to, you could throw away those other components if you don't like the um, plastic ones, but this is more of a just in case things do get broken, there's no harm in keeping them in. And then you have just a play mat if you'd like, and you can use this to store your additional components. You can use this um, to put your millennium dollars and whatnot if you don't already have a surface. So really cool. And then on the right side here, we've got a gigantic silica gel packet to keep everything nice and dry. And then we'll look inside here. You'll notice that we have just two large columns of cards. Tucked on the side here, we're going to put these larger cards. So these cards here, these are the venues. This is where you can potentially battle. And then you have these restrictions. So these are like, it's kind of like a ban list, like you're not allowed to play cards. You can't use play effects, can't use flip effects. So you can use them to kind of change up the variety in the game. I really like the venues. They're just a lot of fun. You're playing in Canada. Exciting. You're playing in the counterfeit mansion. I like it, it adds a cool bit of flavor. 
And then here we just have the remaining cards and I'll just kind of tilt it here. You don't really need to see everything, but I've organized them by green and these are alphabetical as well. You've got your green cards, you've got your silver cards, you've got your red cards, and then you've got your red star cards. So bronze and then silver. And as you saw, the gold was in the other box but it does fit super nicely. And once again, these cards are all sleeved. They're not going to fall over because you're only going to be taking out a couple at a time every game, but they are easy to find exactly what you're looking for and easy to put back. So without further ado, let's close up this box. So once again, we're going to put all the mats away. So roll those up. This may take me a bit, but I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. If you have any questions about what you saw, I'd love to hear. If you have any opinions on Millennium Blades, I'm curious to hear what you think. Does this seem like something that would interest you? Does the idea of a CCG sound exciting? I really like the whole theme of this game. I love the style of it. The cooperative version is a lot of fun. I really like the combos of cards. It does have a lot of reading, so I would maybe stay away from it if you're looking for something a bit more, something that you could just easily play. This one has a lot of deck building and strategy, but it does give you some real time as part of the game to kind of navigate that. But that is organizing Millennium Blades all in collusion in its two gigantic boxes. So if you have any comments, if you have any questions, please put them down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope some of you found this useful, and I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. It really helps us grow, but thank you so much. Side game strong.